Your Excellency, Abraham Kidure Kindiki, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Excellencies, Mr. Speaker of the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker of the Senate, our sister, your leadership, the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, members of the judiciary, members of the executive, members of the legislature, fellow Kenyans, Hamjambo, Hamjambo Tena, Bwana Yesu Asifiwe, Assalamu alaikum. Hebu munisalimie hivyo ewani nione ndugu wa Kenya. I am proud to witness the swearing in of the honorable Abraham Professor Kidure Kindiki as the third deputy president of the Republic of Kenya under the 2010 Constitution. I know him as a dedicated professional whose commitment to excellence has helped us overcome daunting challenges and as a tireless public servant on the path of national leadership. Abraham is also a patriot whose dedication to cohesion, national unity, and inclusivity is beyond reproach. An effective champion of peace and stability. And across every part of our country, and a loyal steward of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda, whom together with many others, we crafted to take our country to the next level. Over the past two decades, I have had the privilege to witness Professor Kendiki's work as a professor, litigation lawyer, consulting attorney, sen senator representing the Rakanidi, Majority Leader of the Senate, Deputy Speaker of the Senate, the most recently as Cabinet Secretary. I can confirm that in all these roles, he has demonstrated exceptional dedication, high competence and professionalism, and consistently delivered results beyond expectations. Professor Kendiki is a highly qualified and outstanding scholar, advocate and public servant, whose career has been defined by exemplary achievements which demonstrate his vision for positive change and commitment to high standards of efficiency in the performance of his duties. At this stage of the implementation cycle of our national transformation agenda, the people of Kenya require a patriotic public servant and a consummate champion of our constitutional dispensation, our broad-based national governance framework and the bottom-up economic transformation agenda to support the cabinet and the presidency in delivering in full and on time. This moment calls for an individual who takes pride in a job well done in, and is humble enough to be a loyal servant of the people and who is selfless enough to reach out and mobilize the entirety of government towards delivering for Kenya. Experienced enough to understand the importance of engaging all sectors of our economy to drive transformation and committed enough to serve professionally with loyalty and most importantly, with integrity. I am delighted to affirm that our coalition, and indeed our nation, is blessed with many professionals who meet all these criteria. 
Among them, Abraham Keturek Kindiki stands out for his exceptional qualifications, extensive experience, and wide-ranging accomplishments. I am honored that he is available. He has told me he is ready, and I know he is willing to serve as my deputy. Professor, my young brother, let me call you Abraham K. or Abra K. Welcome to the service of this great nation, Kenya. And let me say this, I have heard you clearly when you took your oath of office and the oath for the due execution of your responsibilities as Deputy President. You have said two fundamental things in your oath. Kenyans were listening. I too was listening. You said that you will serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. Abrake, please, serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. As I told our principal secretaries, as I told our cabinet secretaries, and as I tell every public servant who has a responsibility, who has a duty, who has the honor to serve our nation, let us serve the people of Kenya and the Republic of Kenya. We are not here to serve ourselves or our families or our communities or our regions or our villages, we are here to serve the Republic of Kenya and the people of Kenya. The second thing that you have said in your oath, I said in my oath, I listened to principal secretaries and cabinet secretaries and others. You have said you will serve without fear, without favor, without affection, and without ill will. My brother Abrake, I listen to you. The people of Kenya were listening to you. Serve without bias, without ill will, without favor, without affection, and without fear. So that together, the people of Kenya can know that their public servants, all of us, elected, appointed, in different categories, shall know that we have one nation, one country, one people, and we are called upon by the Constitution of Kenya to serve them without bias, without fear, without favor. And let me undertake in this very historic national ceremony to the people of Kenya. And I say this as MCS listen to me, as members of parliament listen to me, as members of the executive listen to me, those in the judiciary and those in the executive, that the people of Kenya it doesn't matter. Those who live near our oceans, near our lakes, in our mountains, in our valleys, in our arid and semi-arid areas, they are one people, one great nation called Kenya. And I want to commit, pledge, and undertake that we will serve the people of Kenya equally and no part of Kenya, no community in Kenya, no section of Kenya, no region of Kenya shall be left behind. We are going to walk together. I say this to our representatives. Every MCA knows that they were never voted by all the people in their ward. 
Every member of parliament knows the same, that they were never voted by all the people in their constituency. And so does my friends governors. They know that not everybody in their county voted for them. But they also know that they must serve all the people, whether they voted for them or did not vote for them. Professor, you and me have the honor to serve the people of Kenya. And as I have said before, we will serve the people of Kenya equally, those who voted for us and those who did not vote for us. The government of Kenya equally belongs to all the people of the Republic of Kenya. Let me also say the following, because this is a very important occasion. To underwrite that our judiciary works, that our legislature works, and we will make sure that our executive works and serves the people of Kenya. I know that we've gone through a journey, but in this journey, we have affirmed to both ourselves as the people of Kenya, to our friends, and to the international community, we have affirmed that Kenya is a constitutional democracy founded on the firm foundation of the rule of law. We believe in freedom and we believe in making sure that no, Kenya, no Kenyan and no, none of us is left behind. Today we stand here as a people, united, peaceful, because we are a democracy, we, are, we believe in our constitution, we believe in the rule of law, and we are a free people, and we make choices. Let me also say this. To all of us who are public servants, it doesn't matter at what level. To all of us, we are reminded on this very historic day that we serve at the pleasure of the people of Kenya, and we serve under the provisions of the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. And that none of us, irrespective of the office we hold, is greater than what our constitution says. We must obey, we must submit to the law and to the constitution because that is what makes us a nation. Let me say this as I conclude. We have made stride as a nation. Today, our savings as a percentage of our GDP is growing. We have changed and we have transformed our education system. Today, we have more teachers. We just announced another 20,000 teachers. We have a new funding model that is student-based, which we are refining to make sure that no child in Kenya is left behind. My dear Professor Kindiki, I need your voice, I need your intellect to help me and to help members of our cabinet to profile the things we are doing, to speak to the things that we are doing. I have almost become a lonely voice in the, exec in the executive, especially in the presidency speaking about our projects, speaking about our programs, elaborating on what we are doing. You are eloquent, my brother. You are, in, you are intelligent, my brother. I am confident that you will do that which I have missed for the last two years. I know you will.
we have a huge program on university funding and higher education funding. We have a huge program that today our farmers across Kenya have access to fertilizer. We have a huge program on expanding our irrigation. We have a big program on what we are doing. We need your voice and we need the voice of those of us in the executive to provide leadership and to see to it that indeed we achieve what we wrote into our constitution. Today, as we wrote in our constitution, Kenya Power has turned around and today is a profitable uh, company. So is Kenjen because of the stewardship that we have put in place. My brother, our manifesto is elaborate. Our manifesto is transformative. We are implementing it page by page, paragraph by paragraph, chapter by chapter, because we have to transform this great nation and failure is not an option. We must. We have a big program on rural electrification to connect close to 300,000 homes across Kenya. I need your support to the Ministry of Energy who are doing a wonderful job in that exercise. We have a big program on markets across Kenya. We have a big program on housing across Kenya. Today, we have 160,000 people working in a housing program. By December, actually next month, we will begin to hand over the first thousand houses under our program, under the program that will make ordinary people, Mama Mboga and Boda Boda pay 3,000 shillings every year and access housing in the Republic of Kenya. My brother, let me tell you, our universal health coverage is underway with a bit of challenge initially, but now we are moving. And I want to tell the people of Kenya, we are going to transform this nation and we have the team and professor, welcome to the team that is going to transform Kenya into a great nation that is going to be, make every Kenyan proud. Let me conclude by saying we have what it takes to transform the Republic of Kenya. And I am committed to making sure that whatever it takes, whatever decisions that have to be made, we will make them so that our, our, our nation can truly be transformed. As I talk to you, 10,000 young people are now engaged in climate works in Nairobi. We intend to take that in the next few months into 40 and 50,000 young people. And I commit to the people of the great city of Nairobi that we are going to clean the Nairobi River and we are going to transform it into a better, different causeway as we transform the city in the sun the headquarters of the environment in the world where we have UNEP in Nairobi. We're also going to roll out the program that will make sure that we tap into the private sector and make sure that we can work through public and private partnership to make sure that we roll out some of the urgent, important programs that are important for the transformation of our nation. Let me conclude by asking all of us, members of the legislature, members of the judiciary, especially our investigative institutions, to make sure that we ensure that public resources are used efficiently, effectively. I call upon 
the office of the director of public prosecution, the offices of the DCI and the offices of the IG to work with the judiciary so that the corrupt can be firmly, decisively dealt with in the Republic of Kenya and the citizens of the Republic can get their due in the expenditure of public resources. I know that of recent we have seen incidences of our girls, our mothers, our women who have been murdered in cold blood. And let me say this, that the DCI and all the investigative authorities in the Republic of Kenya must stand up to these criminals and we must deal decisively and firmly. And I want to ask us as a society to be careful with strangers, to be careful with people who lure our girls, our women into situations that compromise their security. But we must be on the lookout, all of us as a nation. This is yet another moment. This is yet another beginning. And I am confident that we are going to take Kenya to the next level. Professor Kendiki, as you and all know, there is much to be done to fulfill our commitments and set our nation on the path to prosperity. I expect you to embark on your duties with dispatch and zeal. I wish you success as you begin your service in the high office you have assumed today. May God bless you. May God bless your family. And may God bless our great republic, the nation of Kenya. Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki, na tutasonga mbele pamoja. Asante ni.